when you open or when you open your any application like web browser cover this space you open ms word you cover this space as you open more browser more tabs from the browser it cover space so one day one time comes it become full now here processor has to this is processor has to save data here. I have to pick data from here. If RAM is full, processor become busy. And here is hard disk. Then operating system takes some space as a RAM from the hard disk. You can say this area. This area will be virtual memory, which is not exist physically, but work this area will be used for RAM. That area is called virtual memory. Virtual means logical. If the amount of available RAM is exceeded due to multiple programs, like these programs are open, uh, program running, it is likely to cause a system to crash. This can be solved by utilizing the hard disk or SSD if we need more memory. Okay? So RAM is given a, RAM, a space from the hard disk to use that space as a RAM. So if you need to move, how we use that? All offline application or pages are transferred to virtual memory. If page need to be active or need to be used by professor, it is transferred to RAM. This is the basis behind virtual memory. Essentially RAM is the physical memory. RAM is the physical memory, while virtual memory is RAM plus swap space on the hard disk or as Okay, you got it? Clear here? Yes. Okay. That says to execute a program, data is loaded into memory yes. from hard disk. Yes. See this one? To load, execute a program, Data is loaded into memory from hard disk. When you type data, application open from hard disk, like MS Word is open here, and you are typing data. Yes. Okay, when you type the data, this Teacher. data goes, yeah, yeah, say. Yes. Can I explain it from the beginning? From the beginning? Yes. Okay. As I am telling you, virtual means a memory which is does not exist physically. This point is clear? Okay, yes. wait. Okay. So basically, virtual memory exists in hard disk. This area. Okay. You can assume this area will be used as a RAM. And this is allocated by operating system. Even you can allocate memory. If you think RAM is not sufficient, remember RAM never sufficient. If you have 8 GB, if you have 12 GB, if you have 16 GB, you have to go hard disk. You have to go for hard disk. It says one of the problems associated with memory management is the case when process run out of RAM. Okay, wait one second. I show you the video. Okay. okay. It says running out of RAM can occur when multiple programs exceed available you are opening different program they are opening here okay. the ram become full so due to that cpu could not work if you need space in ram so potentially leading to a system crash solution virtual memory utilizing the hard disk drive or ssd to extend available memory the basis of virtual memory ram plus swap space on the hard disk or SSD. Okay, you got these points? Yes, basis, basis of virtual memory, RAM, this is RAM, this is talking about this one, okay? Plus swap space on the hard disk. Swapping means when you open many applications, but 
but you can work only one application application at a time at a time you cannot work all application at a time so other application become idle those application or program which become idle operating system transfer to virtual ram so ram space become available virtual ram versus virtual memory ram means physical memory represent physical memory limited in capacity but virtual memory consist of ram virtual memory consist of ram and swap space on the hard disk or ssd used when ram is insufficient that's it that's the point now you got it yes are you there you got it hello yes. Yes. Okay. Should I move to next page? Now it says execution process, normal memory management, data loaded directly into RAM for program execution. It means if I make a again, I make again RAM. This is RAM. This is hard disk. All program stall in hard disk when you open it in RAM. Open in RAM. Some area occupied by operating. So input devices data transfer into RAM. Data loaded directly to RAM for program execution. So whatever I give data, it transfer to RAM. Allow for more flexibility in handling memory requirement. Can you explain? Did you can you explain the first point again? Uh, this one. Yes. It means data loaded directly into RAM. What it means? When you are when you type like, okay, like I am speaking. This is the data I am writing. This so this is the data. It is transferred into RAM. Whatever you working on computer, or everything transferred to RAM. So RAM become full. That is why you need you need to have more space. That space is taken from hard disk and used as a RAM. Okay. What the point? No. no. But whatever you type data, where it goes? Do you know that? When you feed data, where it goes? Do you know that? No. It goes into RAM. It goes into RAM. How you give data? Do you know that from input device? This is input device. This data, when you type data, it goes into RAM because you normally use any application to give data like MS Word, like MS Excel, web browser. These are all application open in RAM. Okay. It says data loaded directly to RAM for program execution. So processor, if you talk about processor, this is the processor. Program execution means processor will execute that program. So it will pick from RAM. Processor always pick data from RAM, data, application, and instruction. These three things come in the RAM. Got the point? Okay. The rest of the material you are going through, these are the benefits and consideration.
okay done no Okay. Yeah. Um. Can you can you explain the uh considerations? This one. Yes. It says virtual memory involves a performance speed of as accessing data from the hard disk or SSD is slower than accessing. It directly from RAM. RAM basically is faster than hard disk. So when you use hard disk data as a RAM, so it so system performance go down. It does not work like as RAM works. So it's a trade off. Okay? You are getting more space, but you are also facing slow speed. So the properly managed virtual memory help optimize system performance. Mm -hmm and prevent crashes due to memory shortage. So properly means if you go, you have to take some steps so that you can use uh, virtual memory as a property. So it should not affect system performance. Can you explain again the, what's the points? It means, trade off means you are getting space but you are losing performance. That's it. You are get, getting more space as a RAM, but you are losing for system performance because hard disk is slower than RAM. Problem with that. So virtual memory means RAM plus hard disk space. What's the idea? So when the uh, virtual memory gets uh... More space to the access accessing data uh, is slow becomes slower. Yeah, it becomes slower due to hard disk speed. Okay. Yes.
It's very much technical. It only says when you use virtual memory, like here it was saying, without virtual memory, memory run out. You could not find further memory for the program number four. But when you go into virtual memory, like we will now consider what happened if the CPU uses virtual memory to allow all five programs to access RAM as required. This will require moving data out of RAM into hard disk SSD and then allowing other data to be moved out of hard disk SSD into RAM. So basically, third bit program address space, program zero maps to address space three in RAM. This is program zero. Okay. Now, this is given 32 bit memory and then given another space area. So, these are basically rerouted. And one is here and given space here. And two is here, given space here. And three is here, given space here. So, it says from zero map to address space in three, from one map to address space zero. From two maps to address space one, from three maps to address space in two RAM. From four cannot use RAM and its hard disk. Its data has been mapped to the hard disk. Okay. The program four has to access memory because RAM is full. It is mapped to here. They moved this RAM uh, program four cannot use RAM and its data has been mapped to the hard disk as in the stand. Instead, from zero is oldest data. From zero came first. So they are saying that first four first four program has been used. They have covered their RAM space and RAM. But program four do not have space and RAM. So it is mapped to it was transferred to hard disk. Okay. Got it? Um, so the the data is loaded into the uh, uh, it only says there are five programs first program has taken space map. map means direct uh, towards move towards like first program has been moved towards RAM. Now RAM is full. Fifth program that is basically program number four. Program number four do not have space in RAM. Okay. But this is moved to hard disk. This is the concept of virtual memory. Whenever you open the program, because user don't know, user only open program. Okay. Yeah. So some sometimes you feel that uh, when you open more program, system becomes slow. That is why you close some program. Got the idea? Okay. Okay. So enough for today. Yes. See you next class, Shal. Yes. Shalom.